Welcome to Late Night Stocks, we have a lot of news and updates in automotive industry. Lucid Air production has been started as promised, customers will get their first Lucid Air next month. Polestar company going public via SPAC merger with expected $20 billion market cap. Rivian's IPO filing is now public. The company is backed by Amazon and Ford. Amazon has already promised to buy 100,000 vehicles from Rivian. Tesla stock is now at $775 after seeing $560. It is heading back to $880 levels, which we saw in January this year. Oil prices have reached $80 record levels since 2018, raising expectations to $90 with supply problems. With these oil prices, maybe you're considering whether you should buy an electric vehicle. This raises other questions like, should you buy some EV stocks? Is Lucid or Polestar the next Tesla? In this video, we will dive into the fundamentals of Lucid and Polestar. I will rate them with our checklist, then comparing with Tesla stock, I will make a price prediction. Let's start with Lucid's company. Lucid Air has just started production. It comes with a $77,000 starting price, over 500 miles range and up to 1080 horsepower. Looks very impressive from the headlines. Let's get into the details. As you see, they have four editions. If you get the lowest one, pure edition, it comes with a 400 miles range and 480 horsepower. However, if you say, I want the best, I am rich enough, you can pay $170 and get 1080 horsepower with 500 miles range. Vision of Lucid is combined sport, tech and classic luxury and provide customers an established luxury. Lucid penetrates this luxury segment to beat BMW, Daimler and Audi. They don't see Tesla as luxury car, but innovative one. If we compare Tesla and Lucid electric vehicles, Lucid Air promises 500 plus miles range versus 400 miles range of Tesla. However, Lucid Air falls behind Tesla by 30 miles per hour in top speed. They should work on that to impress the luxury segment customers in my opinion. Same applies to 0 to 60 miles acceleration. Tesla Model S Plaid is still best in class. When we check the future plans of Lucid, they plan to bring Lucid Gravity, an SUV, end of 2023. Three more models are planned to be introduced by 2030. You can ask, okay, these are all good, but what about the revenues? Here you see the delivery and revenue estimations of Lucid until 2026. As you can understand, they are estimating a solid growth, but it is always harder in reality to accomplish these goals. I will make a price prediction for 2025 based on these estimations. You can wonder whether Lucid stock is undervalued or overvalued. Here I made a table to compare Tesla, Lucid and Polestar. If you have late night stocks portfolio access via Patreon, you can reach these tables anytime. To have this access, you can find the link in the description. Tesla is little overvalued at the moment. Lucid is even more overvalued than Tesla. The company has higher price to sales ratio, so it is not encouraging to buy the stock at the moment. My view on Polestar, I will come in a minute. As a result, if you rate Lucid stock with our checklist, the company is in high growth EV industry, but they don't have self-driving tech, so they are not disruptive enough. They have well experienced board. I will not go through all, but for example, CEO of Lucid is Peter Rawlinson is former chief engineer of Tesla Model S. Other executives have also Tesla and other automotive backgrounds like Audi and Ford. However, the balance sheet is not promising for me. Here you see the free cash flow until 2026. They will not become profitable until 2025. The company will make a lot of capital expenditures to build factories and bring new bundles to market. If we sum the numbers until 2025 up, we get $9.8 billion as negative cash flow. That is money to spend. On the other hand, they are getting $4.6 billion from the SPAC merger. In their balance sheet, they already have $1 billion cash. So in total, they will have $5.6 billion cash, but this can fund them until 2023. What happens after that? Will they offer shares like NIO to fund the company? I don't like that possibility. 
Long story short, Lucid gets 4 out of 10. If they somehow bring 14 billion dollars in 2025, as they promised without offering any shares, with this scenario they may reach 70 dollars by 2025. This is not an investing advice, please do your own research and let me in the comments down below what is your price target for Lucid. Let's continue with Tesla. I already made an in-depth analysis about Tesla, you can check out from here. But I want to give you some latest updates about this stock. Tesla crashed again the expectations. They delivered 240,000 cars in the third quarter versus 230,000 cars expected. In quarter 2, they delivered 200,000 cars, so this is a 20% increase quarter over quarter. It is really impressive to bring these results despite chip shortages. Although their competitors don't give self-driving service, they keep bringing software updates. Full self-driving beta software is now available for customers. This is why we call Tesla disruptive for the electric vehicle industry. In my last video, I shared these price targets for this year 2023 and 25. We reached already $750 price target for 2021. I made a $2,000 price prediction for 2025. What do you think? Let me know your price targets in the comments. Do you have some Tesla shares? Will you sell them or hold them? Let's continue with Polestar. New competitors are coming into this EV race and one of them is Polestar. Now people are asking if Polestar can be the next Tesla or Lucid. Polestar announced a spec merger with Gore's Guggenheim, take your symbol GGPI, with the valuation $20 billion. Volvo and Chinese company Geely Automotive have the ownership of Polestar. It is kind of spin off from the company. They are manufacturing these cars in China. After the merger, Polestar will get the ticker symbol PSNY. Polestar was founded in 2017 and actually released its first car, Polestar 1, in 2019. As you see in the picture, it's a luxury car starting from 100. 50,000 euros with hybrid motor, but this car has a 130 kilometers range with the battery, which is pretty low. They introduced Polestar 2 last year. This car is fully electric and starting from $50,000. In addition to that, it comes with a 540 kilometers range, which is very competitive if you compare it with Tesla Model 3. Polestar CEO Thomas Ingelat said they are coming up with additional three new premium electric cars by 2024, first SUV expected next year. Polestar 3, probably a SUV, will be coming next year with a 600 km range, Polestar 4 in 2023 and Polestar 5 in 2024. I mean they should name these cars like 1, 2, 3, 4. Come on, be creative, don't name these cars like file names. We said that they will have $20 billion valuation, but what are the revenue expectations? Polestar expects $1.6 billion revenue in 2021. The company sees revenue growing at a compounded annual growth rate of 83% to $17.8 billion in 2025. Let's do some math and compare it with Tesla and Lucid. As I showed you before, this is the comparison table for Tesla, Lucid and Polestar. I actually like the valuation of the company. Latest news says that Polestar will have $20 billion valuation after the spec merger. I highly doubt that it will stay there. We will see some hype for sure. When we look at our checklist, Polestar has similar points like Lucid. They have a cheap valuation at the moment. We will see what will happen after spec merger. If they bring $17.8 billion in 2025 as they promised, they may reach $140 billion market cap by 2025. If you consider this $20 billion market cap, it makes 7x potential, which is 60% yearly yield. I will close the monitor this GGPI stock merger and give you updates. Give a thumbs up and write some comments for the algorithm. See you in the next videos.